Oh, with a unique and really interesting first trailer. That got me really, really excited. I'm kind of actually like looking forward to this movie. I didn't really know which way this movie would go. Uh, other than, obviously, I know the character from Toy Story, but nothing else. So that first trailer was really, really intriguing. Right note. So trailer two is here. Let's check this out. Your mission log, Stargate 3901. After a full year of being marooned, our first hyperspeed test flight. That definitely looks like a big scale Pixar animated film. <laughs> Just doing the mission log. You do know no one ever listens to those. I know that. Narrating helps me focus. <laughs> Yo, that Chris Evans voice fits perfectly. Commander Hawthorne. This is exciting. A new adventure. I'm gonna grant you four minutes to be off planet, but then you come right back to us. To infinity and beyond. You are clear for hyper launch. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Buzz, that was utterly terrifying, and I regret having joined you. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Why don't they answer? Uh oh. Uh, hey, hey. Shh, the robots. The what? What is happening right now? Alicia? Oh no, that's my grandmother. But Socks, how long were we gone? Meow, 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 meow. 62 years, seven months, and five days. What? Whoa! We for action, because all we needed was a pilot. For what? To destroy the alien ship. I have a plan and I have a team. Darby can take any three things and make them explode. <laughs> I do this and they shave a little time off my sentence. Hey, okay. what about you? Well, I thought this was going to be like a fun boot camp workout thing. <laughs> but it is not. Did I get it? Pretty close. I need that. You know what I'm saying? The harpoons. <laughs> Damn. The whole team adventure going on. With an inexperienced crew, is 38.2 percent. Hmm, seems a bit low. Mission failure imminent. Whoa. Three. Grandma always said she believed in you. Two. One. There was a big swirly too. Oh, I think I need a bag. No, no. Please record your last words. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. <laughs> if you are satisfied with this recording, speak or select uh, yeah. one. <laughs> to infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. Ugh. Sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this second trailer knocked the first one out of the park. And I thought like the first trailer was like such a great first trailer because you know, especially when you go in there, you don't really know much where the story is going to go. This trailer was on a whole different level. It set up a story that I think the first one did not. And now like this world, this outer space adventure has opened up. And oh boy, oh boy. Is time travel or interstellar travel, <laughs> all this adventure aliens and all that. You can literally make this like a live action movie and it would still be awesome, but it's done in an animated way. It it's reminding me like the good old Pixar days, you know, lately I just feel like they've done films which are good, but in a smaller scale and a smaller scale, it's not as big as it used to be. This feels like the good old Pixar. Oh, oh, it, it touched the spot. It just touched that spot right there. That was good. That was good. It just reminded me of that. You know, Volley and all those adventure films, a like good dinosaur, Brave, and the, the Grandeur, and all that. You know, I love all those films. Like, it, I guess everybody does probably, but you know what I'm saying? It, it just reminds me of that. And this was done so perfectly. It still didn't give out the story, it didn't spoil anything, which is great, but it set out the story perfectly. And there's so many characters, there's good humor, the animation looks fantastic, and the voice for Lightyear, I mean, geez, Chris Evans, that sounds like Lightyear, you know, that's the voice, it's, it's done perfectly. This trailer was really, really darn good. So, that's my take on it, what kind of Easter eggs did you all catch? Leave a comment below, 
let me know and other than that i would say thank you for watching thanks for all the support if you like this reaction there are a whole lot of others on the channel please go have a watch and yeah take it easy take care and i'll catch you all soon until then ta-ta take care